uh, first we will have to uh, remove this lock over here just by pulling it after that we can just unlock the uh, tube by pressing this lock inside and then removing this pipe like this after pressing the lock the locks gets inside then we can simply pull the pipe off means the pipe gets off very easily after that we will have to remove same uh, same thing we can do for the uh, lower connectors also you can remove the pipe and uh, then simply we have to uh, remove the upper cap with the spanner the RO spanner once we have fixed it it is very really very easy to remove like this if you do not have a RO spanner you can remove it with any uh, other spanner also by just simply uh, putting any piece of cloth and then uh, putting another spanner and just once it opens up then you can simply open it with the hand after the top cover is open just we have to check that this ring this white ring or silicon washer it must be in place so that leakages doesn't happen when we insert the RO membrane after that you have to take out the RO membrane from the package and we have to take care that you uh, avoid touching any part of the membrane and we just have to simply insert it like this and press it hard until it fits and we have to take care that really one only very nominal part of the membrane top is visible outside hardly uh, half inch or lesser than that only very less part is visible over the top then we have to take the cap and again secure that the washer is there in place if there is a chances of leakage you can also put a white tape around uh, the threads of the membrane hosing so that leakage can be prevented after that we have to just put the cap on the place and secure it tightly with the provided spanner if again if spanner is not there we can use a cloth and get it a tight get it tightened properly until uh, it meets the entirely if there should not be any gap in between these two points and once again uh, when the membrane is secured in the place we can put the pipe and just pull the pipe little out so that the lock is again outside removed and just we have to put the blue lock again securely same we have to do to the uh, two end connectors also and just remember that if you remove the end two connectors just remember that the while the membrane is facing like this the inner the inner uh, connector should be connected to the flow restrictor and the outer connector will go towards the uh, fresh water the inner is the drain water connector and another uh, outer word is the fresh water connector if you connect to this the bad water will come into the drinking water storage tank so we have to connect it to the outer words like facing like this the inner word will go to the flow restrictor and this will go to the fresh water or to the u towards the uv 
we have to take care about that otherwise uh, bad water will come to the drinking thank you very much